What does this helicopter have to do with this fish? And what do they have to do with climate change? Ilsaklus is a stunning river on Vancouver Island in the territory of the Cloquiat First Nation northeast of Tofino. In English, it's known as Tranquil Creek. It was once a deep and narrow channel used by schools of wild salmon to spawn and rear their young. Their habitat was protected by towering western red cedar and Sitka spruce. In the 1960s, industrial loggers stripped the banks of these mighty old growth trees. Without them, other vegetation struggled to handle heavy rains. The soil weakened and sediment tumbled into the creek, making it too wide and shallow, decreasing salmon traffic by more than 85% in just 50 years. Today, the Redfish Restoration Society is repairing this habitat and protecting its future. Their conservationists are fixing the damage in the river by flying in logs and roots to recreate stream channels and they're stopping future erosion by planting thousands of native trees and shrubs to strengthen the soil base and make sure sediment stays put. These plants don't just prevent landslides, they also capture carbon in their roots and add biodiversity, making forests more resilient to fires and infestations. Nature-based climate solutions, like using plants to combat erosion, make habitats more resistant to climate change and give threatened species a better shot at survival. Saving salmon is an upstream battle, but we can clear the way by helping nature help itself. <laughs> <laughs>